Oh, it's such a beautiful day for a bike ride in Bastrop, Texas. And then I see, oh, it's only about five feet of toe strap. They were doing a great job with it. But what concerned me is no taillights, no flashers. Nobody knows that vehicle's in tow. Y'all are doing good. I'll give you a little bit of coverage back there so nobody rear ends you. My name's Scotty. I'm Uncle Mullet. All right, I'll be behind. I'll give y'all coverage. That way nobody rear ends you. That's a short tow, but you're doing a good job. So I offer my services as a motorcycle escort. As a highway emergency response operator and a firefighter, I can tell you highways can be a Disneyland of doom. But at least with my emergency flashing lights, I can give them distance, a, a buffer. Now, I didn't know where these folks were going, but when they exited Smithville, I knew I liked them. Ooh. We just lost our toe strap. Minor setback and an easy fix. The problem is, when you've been going down the highway 75 miles an hour on a five foot toe strap, you can accumulate a little adrenaline. And men tend to burn that off in the form of aggression. I have never seen anybody tow a vehicle so good in my life. You follow great. Thank you, man. How to keep this tight at all possible times. Yeah, yeah. And when you're stopping, I'll keep it tight. It's all right, don't worry. Come on, y'all, come on. Come on, Papa. Come on, come on, come on. You're both wearing crosses, come on. You're both wearing crosses, all right? You're good man, good man. It's gonna work out. Hey, listen up. You have the pump. Well, show me I'm a pump, my nigga, I'm out here. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, we got to get the car going. Let's tell you what. Tell you what. How about this? How about you fight later? What do you think of that? Come on, come on, come on. Y'all fight later. You know, hey, 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 hey. If things get scrappy, I Guys. glove up. You done, you done got your cigarette knocked out. Come on, listen to this. <laughs> So the younger man is taunting him, and that's when the older man sees a piece of cinder block and an opportunity. Get the toe. No, 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 that ain't right, that ain't right, that ain't, that ain't, that we're not going to play that that way. Okay. Okay, maybe another day. I'm 55, how old are you? I'm 70. You're 70 years old? And you can still pick up a rock and take on a young man like that? But, but we're going to work on the toe. It's all right. It's all right. Shoot. We're going to work on the toe. In case you missed that maneuver, I learned that from my third grade teacher. Let's watch it again. We're on the side. Shoot. We're going to work on the toe. Why can't we all get along? Antoine, I need somebody strong. All right. That ain't nothing a little bit of tie can't fix. You're doing all right. I appreciate your control today. Cool down. He's going to have a cigarette. He's going to cool down. <laughs> Two men are, he left, he smoked a cigarette and left, but there was no assault, there was threats. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime, anytime. Thank you. You're, here, let me shake you. It's, a, it's bad luck to shake with a glove. <laughs> I worked as a highway emergency response operator for years. I've more, seen more toes and more things on I-35, and I've towed more people. I've never seen anybody feather a brake. You had no power on that. No. There's no power steering. No. There's no power brakes. No power burn, brake, no nothing. And you guys did, it was poetry. And thank you. Because you didn't have any lights. Yes, no, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that time. Yeah. Is that a camera on you? Oh, I, we're on Uncle Mullet. We're live right now. <laughs> You were doing the speed limit. It was unbelievable. There it goes. So I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it, I go by Scotty, but I go by Uncle Mullet. Uncle Mullet? Yes, they sir. Call me Uncle Gene. Uncle Gene, you earned this Uncle Mullet sticker mm -hmm. like nobody I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. All right? Uncle Mullet. Uncle Mullet means kindness. Oh. And that has a number, and each one has its own number right here. Mm -hmm. You've got that number right there. Mm -hmm. And you can give this, and you can give this to Antoine. You tell him, hang in there. I've been there. I've been there, all right? Oh, this just represents kindness. And you go to UncleMullet.com. Right. You can show how kindness, you can show how kindness keeps traveling. Sticker, so, I might need that one. Yeah. That looks beautiful. 
You, you're an Uncle Mullet too. You're Auntie Mullet. I'm Auntie Mullet. <laughs> so you got your own website. If you don't mind, I'm still going to cover you a little bit to where you're going. As soon as I get you in the neighborhood, I'll sign off and I'll let you guys go on peacefully. But I really appreciate you allowing me into your lives today. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm going to give you a hug if you don't mind. <laughs> and you got to hang in there with Antoine. You know why? His name's on your back. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I got my girls on me too. Okay, man. I'm proud to have you, pal. You too. Thank you for your service and thank you for being you, man. I cannot believe what a great job. It just still blows me away. I'm going to call this video The Struggle is Real because we all have struggles. How can you de escalate a situation? It's hard when our first impulse is anger. That's base of the brain stuff. And it's there for a reason. That's our fight or flight. But sometimes we're just doing the best we can with the tools that we have at the time. One of these men that I just met about an hour ago was Gene. He is a legitimate Vietnam veteran. Antoine may not be a Vietnam vet, but I guarantee you he has his story too. We all do. Some of my first memories of this world were gunfire. There had been a divorce, separation in the family, and we got shot at several times. Guys, when you grow up in trauma, your base of the brain and your frontal lobe aren't really wired together that well because it's base of the brain. You know, Christine had a wonderful therapist named Sam and she said to us one time, just remember, just because you smell smoke doesn't mean the house is on fire. It might just be the toaster. Whether you gotta think about the movie Frozen and let it go, whatever you gotta do to de-escalate or to remind yourself that it's not the end of the world. Whatever you do to get to that place of peace uh, is a good thing. I, I come out here. I'm out here for another reason. It wasn't just because of the conflict between Antoine and, and Jean. At two o'clock in the morning, I was performing CPR. As close as I am right now to you, distance-wise, there was a woman who is hoping that her husband would live. Y'all, that's, that's the real stuff. All the other stuff can just fade away. Always remember that our time together, it's, it's precious. It's fleeting. And it can be gone, just like that. So I'm going to ask you today to take a challenge. If, if someone cuts you off in traffic, or if you find yourself getting upset or angry, try to take a moment, take a breath. You can ask yourself, is this going to matter a year from now? Is it going to matter a hundred years from now? Some of us, and I'm talking about me, are born into this world with not a lot of tools. We got to kind of find them as we go along and, and even make our own. And as I get a little older, uh, I'm finding I'm gaining more. And, and I want to share those with you. I want you to have more tools in your toolbox. Little things like, oh, it's just the toaster. The house isn't burning down. That's a tool. We can all be short-sighted and impulsive. Try to think ahead before you comment on this video because I saw a lot of myself today in Antoine and I saw a lot of myself in Jean. I don't have my brother anymore, but we used to duke it out like that. But as we got older, there was a, a shift. We didn't have to do that anymore. Our toolbox was growing and I hope yours continues to grow. So until next time, y'all, please continue to be good to one another, live to ride another day. I thank you. Oh, look who's showing off right now. Well, la dee da yeah, I get it. You're the universe. You're amazing. This is me using one of my tools. This is my Zen moment. Just allow yourself to experience the peace of this moment. Just clear your mind. Don't think about beef jerky. I know some of you are thinking about beef jerky. I just did now because I said beef jerky. Now I'm thinking about it. But clear your mind of beef jerky. I know it tastes delicious, but it's it's got way too much sodium in it for you anyway, especially at your age. Come on. You ain't no pioneer settler. Eat like an adult. Come on now. So clear your mind. I need to be honest with y'all. I do keep thinking about beef jerky. I can't stop. Now back to the Zen. Zen Jerky. That'd be a good name for beef jerky. Zen Jerky. I apologize, y'all. 
This Uncle Mullet fella loves to talk about zen and peaceful things, and then he gets on this Harley, and then starts it up with them Vance and Hind pipes. And then he scares every little squirrel within a 50 mile radius. Irony can be so ironic. <laughs>